Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to easily add overlay text to your recordings and live streams in XSplit Broadcaster. I'm actually using it right now. Look right here, isn't that cool? I'll show you how, stay tuned. All right, so I've been using text overlays in my recordings and live streams for quite a long time. Been using it in the Tech Eddie show for a uh, number of videos as well since I probably restarted my channel here. Um, it's a really good way to kind of display information uh, whenever you like and have it on there the entire time and not have to kind of reiterate things all the time audibly because the information is down below. So I'm going to show you different ways to add text overlays today and show you little tips and tricks along the way too. So first things first, we'll keep this layout here, this scene. We'll go down to add source, lower left, and we'll click on text. And that's pretty much just adding the text layer in. Go to title text, click on the box, and you can delete the sample text here and then uh, type in whatever you want. If you have something, uh, copy onto your clipboard you can also paste that here i believe i do actually i have some links uh, like website links and also um, information about my gaming channel here so i'm going to paste that in for the example all right and we'll click ok and now of course you can only see um, one of the words here so you have to resize this the more text you uh, have of course the smaller it has to be to have it all on screen at once but there's ways around that too so we can take our mouse here and go on the top of the box and just drag it down so it gets smaller. And it gets pretty small here too, but it's still visible. And that's about as small as it gets. We can extend the, the box out here as well by dragging from the right and filling the screen from left to right. And there you go. So the text is small. Make it a bit bigger here probably for us too. And it's still all being able to be seen. So we have uh, support editing Nintendo Chit Chat and my links there as well. Just kind of demo text for you guys. We get the picture. So again, you can fill the screen if you want to as well with a full layer, full screen of text. Uh, but for the example here, we're going to make it smaller for you. All right, so about the text here, our layer and right click. So there's a bunch of options here. There's so a few animation options as well, and we'll cover those right now. We can have our text scroll, which is a really good option. I have it on uh, right now too with this layer right here, as you see, it's always there. So we'll click scroll in the animation section, and this moves right now, it's selected right to left. You can also select, uh, have it move left to right, and then you can also have it go from pond, uh, bottom to top or top to bottom. So if you're doing a credits kind of thing, you can do that here as well. And pretty much set it up however you want for what you're creating, whether it's a recording or a live stream. So again, there's four options here. You can always check these. I usually have a right to left scrolling. I think that looks the best, like a little news ticker kind of idea. That's what I like. All right, so that's pretty cool. And again, you can resize this scrolling really easily by dragging and shrinking down. And again, you can also squeeze it in, left and right. Cool, so that's scrolling. We'll right click the text box again. There's also fade here. Now if you just click fade, nothing's gonna happen. You actually have to set up a delimiter. The delimiter is two characters, upright lines, that are kind of like inserting a break into the text. Then you add in more text and then it will fade to that row of text or that line of text. If you hover over here, it tells exactly what that is. So we'll add some new text in the box here. We'll actually get rid of this demo text for now. Highlight some of this and just delete it out. There we go. All right, so we're gonna say, hello, this is a test. I'm gonna hit shift, and there's two lines. All right, and as you see, you can't see them now on screen. It fades to our next line, which we'll enter in now. And that goes right next to the text here in our text content box. Hello, this is line two. And we'll see how this goes. So the bottom, 
we have it fading from our first line to our next line, which is really cool. So this is a really good way of keeping text in a certain area and kind of cycling through a bunch of information for yourself. If you're a streamer, have all your social media channels or whatever you do, have your Twitter handle, your YouTube handle kind of switch back and forth and fade in and out. A really good feature here uh, with adding text overlays to your streams and recordings. Okay, right click on text. A few more little options, mixing with fading. You can set the interval and the fade speed. So how fast the fade goes in and out and also the interval the speed between the lines showing as well. So you can kind of play with that in milliseconds. It's at a default of 1000, I think, right now. So play with the speeds if you want to as well and experiment. So those are pretty much the animations here. You can also choose a variety of fonts as any text editor has here. There's a ton of common fonts built into this. Algerian, Area Black, uh, Padoni, Poster, Book Antica, Chiller, so you can choose fonts that kind of match your content and you go on from there. You can also add outlines to this and the outlines also help make the text stand out a little bit more for your streams and recordings. You can also change the color of that too. So uh, let's see here, we can go an outline of black and you can choose from thin, thick or thickest. So it makes it pop a little bit more. Let's change the color of the font too to any color you want. Make it have a purple color. There you go. Looks really good. You can make it uh, line to the left, center, or right. You can also have a top, middle, or bottom as well, depending on what your setup is here. All right. So if we raise this up a little bit by dragging that bigger, of course it gets bigger, right? Move this up here. So you can place the content and text wherever you want on your stream and layout. Looks really good. Let's go change the color back. Didn't really choose a color there at all. I think I want the purple though, it's kind of cool. Looks good. Yeah, I like purple. Now you may come into some problems if you're playing video games or you're doing a presentation with lots of things going on on the screens uh, or things are constantly changing color, lots of motion on your screen where the text may be hard to see. And there's ways around that by adding the border, of course, helps that. Uh, but here's a really good way. You can actually add a background layer below the text. So the text is on top of that layer, making it pop out even more. There's a few ways you can do it. This is how I do it, I'll show you. All right, so we're at Google here. And I'm gonna search for just a rectangle of color. So any color you want, you can search for it. I'm gonna type in just a black rectangle and click on images here. And we can pretty much use any one of these here. Just gonna click on this one here and I'm gonna save it. Even if it's not really a transparent background on it, we can kind of crop it and use it still. So this is just one way. I'm gonna add source, media, and find our image that we just downloaded. So you see here, not perfect, there's a kind of a bottom layer to it here. We're gonna crop that in. I'm gonna drag this up to the top and move it below our text layer. So we have our background layer, then this image rectangle, and the text layer on top, kind of like a sandwich. Put the arrow, it goes behind. Now we can kind of move this in a little bit by squeezing it. We're gonna right click on that image and our sources. Go to layout and uncheck keep aspect ratio, okay? We're also gonna click on cropping down here, the bottom. Kind of get rid of that empty area there. There we go, cool. Now we can resize this manually. I like how XSplit has all these boxes showing the layout here, kind of as you're moving things around the screen, it helps, helps you kind of center things and see where the other sources are as you're moving things around to make sure things are the same size and kind of aligned for you. So there we go, cool. Make it a bit bigger if we want to. And there we go. So a really easy way is going into Google and downloading it. it's the black rectangle 
and doing some little tweaks and fixes. Now we have the nice background below our text, and that text will always be visible now. Even if we play a video game, the video game, of course, will be the back, the bottom layer, so it'll still be on top and still be visible during the stream. So what if you don't want to download rectangles? Uh, again, you can choose any color you want to as well for your own content. I'm just using black here as an example. Uh, you can also go into a photo editor like Pixel or Online and make a black bar and save that image for yourself too. Or if you don't want to bother with images, you can also do a little trick here with an expert broadcaster. I'll show you the trick right now. We'll get rid of this black background image here. Remove it. We're going to add source and add a second text layer. Delete the sample title text out of here. Perfect. Click OK. Go back to our text here, the source, right click, and now go to effects and go to shape. Basically here, we're gonna create a border around this blank empty text layer and make the border so thick it closes upon itself. So watch, go to border here and just hold down plus until that border fills in. I'm going to move this up here. Click the arrow for behind our layer, move it below our text layer. Now we can resize this manually here again. And we're going to stretch it out from left, right to left here. And boom. So no image, just the extra text box that's empty with a very thick border that completed itself and filled itself in. And there we have a really cool layer below our text. And that will be visible the entire time for our recordings and live streams. So really cool little tips and tricks for you here. Hopefully this is helpful for you. So there you have it. Again, text overlays are pretty basic and easy to do, but there's some tips and tricks here I wanted to give you along the way. Uh, that way it makes it a little bit easier for yourself. Uh, so a few more little things to touch on though. There's other fonts, of course, you can use. There's also outlines of text I showed you earlier. Click on, right click here, go to text. So you can also do bold, italics, underline, strike through. You can also do shadowing here. You can change the distance of the shadowing or blurring opacity for that too. And also the opacity of the outline. You can do that as well. So pretty much your standard text choices here. We can kind of play with this and kind of match your fonts to your other content that you have on screen. But play with this and see what works best for you. And I definitely recommend having some text on your screens. Uh, that way you can have really good important information in the eyes of your viewers the entire time. So there you go, adding text layers. We did scrolling, animations, fades. We added the delimiters in as well. And again, with delimiters, you can add as many as you want. So you can have it cycle through a number of things, like I said, social media channels. Um, if you're giving away something, you can have a game code or something there cycling through. Uh, any kind of information you want, you can add it there with easy text layers here and XSplit Broadcaster. So there you have it, adding text overlays to recordings and live streams isn't hard at all. In fact, you should probably experiment with different fonts, colors, and see what works best for you. Hopefully the tips and tricks have helped you out as well. Hit that like button for us, give us your comments below, and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time. Thank <laughs> you.